God of heaven once again that stand this day in the midst of this thy people in the presence of thy spirit there are mountains that need moving valleys that need raising problems that need solving burdens that need lifting sickness that need healing healing God I pray now for a move of your spirit to bind and rebuke the adversary the enemy that comes to steal kill and destroy that thief that come to steal the joy of your people to take away our faith in you but today Satan the Lord rebuke you the blood of Jesus is against you we stand today as empty pitchers before a full fountain our cry and our prayer to God on this day is not for fame fortune or riches but we stand today asking you to move by the power of your spirit by the enemy that comes to invade the mind that causes stress and depression the demon of depression that's moving in the minds of folk until they're losing it and don't know which way to turn the medicine is not curing it the demonic attack is so intense until it's thrown off off balance we don't know what to do don't know how to do what we know we should do and end up doing everything we got no business doing we're moving into areas that we're unfamiliar territory and the demonic forces are waiting to pull your people down from their place in you but today we know you are able the question comes in the midst of this situation the question comes in the midst of our society the question comes in the midst of churches and ministries everywhere the question comes when people are perplexed with problems and situation the custom and the thing that happens to us seems to throw us backwards and the question is is there anything too hard for the Lord to do but your word said there's nothing too hard for you and God today I'm sorry that we have to take up time like this but I'm just sick and tired of the enemy that keeps taking the joy from your people and demons that keep moving into families and homes and demons that taking over our schools and disrupting our ministries and today I take authority over every demonic force every demon that invades the home life that causes separation divorce and child molestation I come against every demon that's moving in the atmosphere every demon that's moving in the homes in the schools I bind and rebuke you right now by the power and authority of the Holy Ghost devil you're a lying wonder you're a deceiving spirit you think you got it all under control you think you can do what you want to us and you can make us act any kind of way but today I want to serve notice on you your time is almost up for the Bible lets us know where there's two or three that's gathered together in the name of the Lord that the Lord would be there and today there's more than two or three of us there's a bunch of us that know we need God we're standing on the perimeter then the enemy is about to push us over the edge you talk to people who are perplexed in their mind they're on the verge of a nervous breakdown they're under so much pressure till they don't know what to do they've gone to the psychiatrist and the psychologist and they prescribe medicine that don't cure the problem but only pacifies it and God we don't need pacifying we need deliverance we need healing we need you to move by your spirit in the name of Jesus I know the devil don't like us but the feeling is mutual because we don't like the devil either we don't like the demons that he's dispersed into the atmosphere into our schools and into our young people there's a cry God that's coming from between the altar and the porch there are some believers that's crying out to you that's asking you to help right now and it seems that our prayers are being blocked and our minds are becoming frustrated and in the spirit of frustration we become
become so frustrated until we give up on praying and when we give up on praying it messes up our faith and we get to the place that we don't believe that you're going to move and we get to the place that we just believe that the devil is going to handle it all and make us go over the edge and call us to lose everything but today the devil is alive if the devil was going to run this thing he never should have let us pray today for your word said they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength and God we're waiting on you we've been praying and crying we've been moaning and groaning we've been perplexed and in trouble and every time we turn around there's a new demonic attack but God you told us in your word when you spoke to us to put on the whole armor have the breastplate of righteousness put on the helmet of salvation have the shield of faith and the sword of the spirit which is the word of God I can't leave my feet out for my feet are sure with the preparation of the gospel of peace and God we need a touch from you we are so sick and tired tired and sick of the devil doing what he want to do messing with our sleep messing with our rest giving us all kinds of sickness giving us strokes and heart attacks and God we know you're able our trust is in you our dependency is not on drugs it's not on alcohol but our dependency is on the word of God for God your word said that you sent your word to heal us that's what your word said and God we believe you touch right now say that the Lord rebuke you say that I want you to know that the blood yet prevails that the blood yet prevails the blood still heals the blood yet delivers the blood yet makes a way there's no stroke that can stand against the blood there's no heart attack that can stand against the blood in the name of Jesus God move right now we're waiting on you we're the sheep of your pasture we're so tired of the devil doing what he want to do messing up our worship messing up our servant we come to church for a breakthrough we come to church for a hearing we come to church for a healing but before we can get in the door the devil already attacked he attacked somebody this morning he attacked somebody last night and made them feel frustrated and ready to throw in the towel but the devil is alive woman I come to you right now Sam get up and be healed man your drug addiction I come against the demon of drugs I tell that demon to let you go man you're gonna be delivered woman you're gonna be delivered young man you're gonna be delivered the power of God it's real today the power of God it still works today the power of God it still works miracles there is no demon that can stand against the power you're a believer stop being a spiritual pushover get up and stand your ground let that devil know you will not stress me you will not depress me you will not make me sick you will not do what you want to do I'm stepping out of this thing I'm coming out with my hands up I'm coming out to give God glory I'm coming out to give God praise say that the Lord rebuke you every demon I'm going to set notice on you I command you drop your weapons and flee get out of that home get out of that school get out right now get out of that young woman get out of that young man spirit of homosexuality I come against you now I bind you and rebuke you spirit of a lesbian
Zionism. I come against you right now. Let that young woman go. Let that young man go. I speak it to your spirit. I command deliverance to come right now. I command the healing to come right now. That demonic spirit of HIV, demonic spirit of AIDS in the body, I arrest you now. I arrest you by the power and authority of the Holy Ghost. If you can help.